Well, look at this, guys. We'll see what this is. This is a crazy kind of turn he's doing there. Looks like it's gone a bit wobbly, eh? We'll see what that turns into. Well, we're here today in Reading. It's Reading Chemtrail Info Day and we're here to hand out information to the public about the aerial spraying that's going on. And you can see here right now that that trail I just filmed a few minutes ago is still there. It's not a contrail, it's not water vapour. It's full of heavy metals and barium salts and radioactive strontium. That's the three main ingredients that are found in the test results all around the world, virtually every country now. So there is a perfect example of a chemical trail, a chem trail. The media are not allowed to report on it, so we have to tell you ourselves. So I'm here from the radio show that I do, warning people, I do talks, I'll do anything. I've been to Salisbury, Southampton, Portsmouth, Bournemouth, giving out leaflets. Here are the leaflets. We're giving them to the public because the media won't tell you about it. Because the media won't tell you about it, we have to. So I make these videos to try and inspire other people to do the same kind of events in their town because our health is being affected and the environment is being destroyed. So jump up on the church towers and shout it as much as you can because the government won't admit that it's going on. The media won't tell you, so we have to. So please do the same. It's destroying the environment and our health. Thank you very much. Reading Chemtrail Info Day. There's the banner. Thank you, Dean of the Family User. And people are walking past and seeing what it is, and I'm handing them leaflets if I think they're interested. So we've got about 500 leaflets today. That, uh, Dean Z has brought along some leaflets as well. And chemtrails look up there's a link there for aircraft.org 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 and the free truth show check it out on youtube or facebook or fedbook as i like to call it and please go to the carnicom institute.org for independent research and analysis because the government scientists are lying to you thank you very much please do the same we haven't got much time left thank you Did he get much of the chemtrail? Yeah. Superb. <laughs> chemtrails, have you heard of chemtrails? Please oh, right. that. There's one right behind you, above your head. As you can see, that chemtrail that we were just showing you is still there. It's about 25 past 3, March 24th, 2012. So we're here to tell the good people of Reading all about the chemtrails because the media won't tell them. They're not allowed to tell them. They lose their job or worse. So there we go. Spreading out, spreading out, spreading out. That is a chemical trail. Well, we're in Reading on Broad Street, one of the main streets in Reading, and they have been spraying today. I'm going to show you one here. It's now um, about 20 past four. About 20 past four, and I can show you now. 
I'm going to speak loud because of the violin man's right next to us. There's one there. That's spreading out and forming a bank of cloud now. That was laid about five minutes ago. I'll just zoom in on that for you. You can see the chemtrail up there. All the heavy metals coming out of it from gravity. That's absolutely jam-packed with heavy metals and barium salts. There's another one being sprayed here, but it looks like a contrail. I would say that that is a contrail, but if you follow it back, like that, this one here is not a contrail. That's a chemtrail, because it's been there longer than five minutes now. And it goes all the way over there, like that. You see? That is a chemical trail. Big difference. And what's this one here? We are near an airport, so there's going to be a lot of condensation trails, contrails, water vapour. So we'll see if this one is a chemtrail or a contrail. There's a big difference. See, look, it's spreading out there. This one has spread out here, you see? But this one is going away instantly. That's a chemtrail, uh, a contrail, sorry. That's a contrail. it's going away see it's dispersing within seconds not leaving a trail this one is not going away that's a chemtrail big difference you see I just wanted to point that out so you've seen the difference now between a chemtrail and a contrail that's why we're here today, we're telling the public all about it because the media are not allowed to report on it. I don't mind shouting in the middle of the street, it's what needs to be done. So I urge everyone to do the same, because we're being poisoned from the air. We're being poisoned from the air with these chemtrails. We've had enough, we've come out to tell the public all about it. Please do the same. Thank you. That's not a lark ascending, that's a chemtrail aircraft spreading out its muck and poison on the planet. Hi oh there, can I leave you one of these leaflets? Oh you are? Alright. Hi, can I leave you one of these leaflets? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's pretty much the end of the day here now. It's uh, coming up to five o'clock in the evening and we've had Chemtrail, Reading Chemtrail Info Day and me and Dee Deansy have been here, we've got a lovely big banner and um, how do you think the day has gone so far? Not too bad, I was hoping more people would turn up but that's how it goes isn't it? We've got plenty of leaflets out didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And some good, good, good conversations actually with people actually informing them a bit more rather than just handing over the leaflet telling them a bit more about it so yeah it's good yeah yeah positive response from the public again yeah. generally 
few people actually know about the issue already. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Happy with today. Yeah, I was quite surprised. I spoke to quite a few people and they, they heard of chemtrails, they were looking into it. And one lady even said that she's warning people all the time. So, a it's good day. Out there, getting out there, good day. One last message for the public. Just keep heart, just keep going, just be yourself, be honest. That's the one. And what I just filmed um, previously has now formed into a chemtrail. You can see above the tree there, it's beginning to spread out and we watched that there was two planes flying very close together one above the other and one of them was a contrail because it disappeared straight away and five minutes later this has turned into chemtrail because it's not going away we we'll follow it back and you can see it clearly there there's, an, there's, an up, there's another aircraft up there, whether it's spraying chemtrail or not, I don't know. We'll see if that hangs around. But this is why we're here, folks, to tell people what's happening above their heads every day. So we'll, we'll see in a few minutes whether that's a contrail or a chemtrail or not. But you can see underneath there, you can see there, there's one there. And that spreads around and turns into that above the tree. That's well over five minutes now. Well over five minutes now that con chemtrail has been there. And we'll see if this is one or not. It is dispersing, so I would suggest that that is a contrail we've just seen. And that's it really. That's it from Reading Chemtrail Info Day. We've got lots of leaflets out to the public about the aerial spraying and the toxic chemicals on the public that the media aren't allowed to report on. So this is why we're here doing it. We're out on the streets telling you ourselves because the media cannot, is not, and are not allowed to report on it. So we'll do it for you. We'll tell you you're being poisoned from the skies. Thank you. And uh, signing off from the Free Truth Show. Tell everyone you know, alert, alert, alert. Thank you. That definitely looks very chemtraily, you're right. So that's the poison from the sky, folks. And there's one ascending there that looks very much like it's going to be a chemtrail. Let's wait and see. That one certainly is. That's spreading out already, forming a bank of cloud. And it's going to be. Are they going to give us a good send off with a nice big X today? A big kiss goodbye? I think so. So, poison from the skies with a big X at the end of Reading Chemtrail Info Day. Cheers. <laughs> and it's all chemtrail over there as well. I don't know if you can see with this camera, but there's another one just above those chimney heads there, going along. I'll try and zoom in. There. Top of the chimney, along there like that, in the distance. More chemtrail. As well as, oh, there's, of course, there's that one there that I was filming first, which spreads over like that. And then this one came over after that one created a big X in the sky so let's see how that fans out that's chemtrail 
Well, this, if this isn't obvious, I don't know what isn't. Can you hold that camera for a sec? If that is an obvious chemtrail, I don't know what isn't. If people don't see that this is harmful, I don't know what it would take. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen that big X in the sky? It's a chemtrail. See that? I need that, please. The big poison in the sky is the toxic chemicals. Not confident, not water. Thank you. Look up there and see that big chemical spray in the aircraft. Very bad for the environment, very bad for our health. Very successful. <clears throat> aircraft if that isn't obvious I don't know what isn't that is chemtrail well, there we are see no trail on that at all that's a commercial jet that's normal <laughs> 